Thank you for tuning in today to the broadcast Woman to Woman with Truth That Transform. I am your host, Pastor Dorothy Arbell. And today I just want to say thank you for those who have been listening to me, for those who have been encouraging me, those who have been praying for me. You know, this is a season where so much is going on, but God, thank God that he's still on the throne. And I'm glad that you know that he's on the throne. Amen. So today we're briefly going to talk about something that's been taught over and over. But the more you hear, the more it get into your spirit. That's what I've been taught. And that's what I believe because I'm a representative of that hearing the word over and over again, that it gets into your heart. And Psalm, I think is 190, it said, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his ways by heeding the word of God? In my heart have I hid that word that I may not send against you. So it's important to hide the word of God in your heart. Today, we're going to talk briefly about grace. Yes, grace. There are so many definitions out here for grace, but my definition is simply this. The grace of God is a divine influence upon your heart and my heart. All that means is that he reflects mm, his love in our life and gives us a future that's refined, that's holy and pure. Now, I know that's a long list, but that's what he gave me. So I'm going to say it to you again, and I'm going to say it a little slower so you can understand what I have received from the Holy Ghost, okay? Grace, we're talking about the grace of God. So the grace of God is the divine influence upon my heart and your heart. Think about that. This means that he reflects his love in our life each day and gives us a future that's refined, that's holy, and pure. That's God's grace to me. And I hope as you listen to this, that you can go back over and pick out a few little nuggets that we can, you know, say daily, you know, oh, it's a divine influence upon my heart. And you can do things like that. Okay. So we're talking about that grace. And of course, we all know about the grace of God out of Hebrew, I mean, Ephesians 2, 8. It's for by grace are we saved, not through works of faith, lest any man boast. That grace, grace of God, is so, oh, it reflects his love. When you think about it, it reflects the love of God in our lives. So I thank the Lord for his grace is majestic. Oh, it's marvelous. Ooh, it's magnificent. I don't know about you, but I'm so glad God's grace is upon my heart today. It's reflecting the influence that he gives me to open my mouth and speak words of wisdom, words of truth, words that will transform your heart and let you know, you know, God's grace is something that you can't trample upon, just like his blood, you know, every day. And so before, I just want to, it's so important, I think, that people know when you go to the throne room of God and you ask him for things, you know, God may not answer right away. You know, but guess what? His grace is for us every day. He's going to give us that grace. Think about that. He may not answer us right away when we ask him for things, but we can rest assured that his grace is always upon us every day if we allow it to. So I, I, I just thank the Lord for his grace today. What about you? I hope that you will thank him for his grace today. As I say, it was majestic. It's ma marvelous. It's magnificent. His grace is splendor. I, I, it's just, when you think about it, who can give you what God gives you except by his grace? Oh, hallelujah. And his grace is excellent. You know, everything God does is excellent. He spoke the world into creation. Look how excellent the world is. Yes, man has polluted it, but God spoke it. When he spoke it, it was splendid majesty, majestic, and excellent. So even when I think about God's grace that's upon my heart, I tell you, it's just, it's just a blessing. 
to know. Even though, like I said, he may not answer me right away. But one thing's for certain and two things for sure. That his grace is always upon me every day. How about you? Do you feel his grace every day? Do you see his grace every day? Okay. His great grace will increase blessings and is adequate and worthy to abound in all ways. Think about that. The grace of God is worthy and it's able to abound in all ways. Not some ways, but all ways. Because his grace and mercy is what saved you and I today. I don't know about you. I'm living this moment because of that. What about you? Are you living this moment because of his grace and mercy? Because he's forgiven you and a previous broadcast made you free? Oh, that's the, I'm talking about the grace of God. Yes, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God's grace is glorious, it's sufficient, and it's rich. Think about the richness of God's grace. Where would you and I be today if it wasn't for his grace and his mercy? Where would we be? I don't know about you, but I know where I would be. I wouldn't be sitting here giving out his word, I tell you that. I wouldn't be talking about how marvelous he is, how splendid he is, how wonderful he is, because I wouldn't have opportunity to know who he is had not I been introduced to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, his son, his only begotten son, the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm telling you that grace is marvelous. Grace, grace. Oh, that marvelous grace that saved you and I. So, are you standing in that grace? Are you making plans to stand in the grace <laughs> where you can be a recipient of his magnificent, magnificent power, the attributes of God, that grace, that splendid grace? When I think about that grace, I tell you, it's, it's something to behold. Let us go into the word of God. Just one scripture, you know, uh, that grace, uh, Lamentations 3. We quote it all the time. Um, we say it in different settings. But I want you to really think about this grace of God that's on our lives daily. If we allow him to be. You with me? Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 22 and 23. And the word of God says, It, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. Now just think about that. That's his grace. We could be consumed, but if it had not been for the grace of God and that compassion, guess what? We would be consumed. Yes, we would. And then verse 23 says, what? Those, those <laughs> mercies are what? They are new every morning. Great is our faithfulness. Now, when I stop and think about every day, the grace of God, has been released upon my life, my family's life. Those that I love, I pray for that grace to be upon them. I pray for the peace of God to be upon them. I pray for those mercies, those tender mercies, those manifold mercies to be upon us and the body of Christ. It's just so spectacular when you think about our loving Heavenly Father. His grace does all of that, you know? And it's because of that grace that, we haven't been consumed. His grace and his mercy. Like I said, it's brought us through. You know that song. We're living this moment because of you. I just want to thank you and praise you too. Because it was your grace and mercy that has brought us through. Oh, hallelujah. I believe really that in a lifetime, we will never know all about God's grace. It's too vast. It's too wide. God is so vast and so wide. We could never uh, get all of the things that we really need. I mean, we get some of the things, but we could never get all that he has for us. 
but we certainly can try to get as much as we can to stay in his grace and mercy. So I, I, I like I said, we can't even make a dent in his grace and his mercy because there's so much to it. And so I'm going to ask you this question. Do you want to possess all that God has you, his grace and mercy? So if you do, then are you willing to go through the experiences to receive and attain the benefits through his grace? Are you willing to do that? You know, it's not going to be, like I said, it's not going to be easy and rosy every day. I mean, it can be easy when you trust him, you know, but like I said earlier, God don't always have to answer us right away, but we know that his grace is with us every day. So just, are you willing to go through the trials, the storms, the, the, you know, whatever it is you need to go through, knowing that God is with you? See, that's so reassuring to me, knowing that no matter what, no matter where, no matter when, no matter how, no matter why, God's grace is over me, is upon me, and his mercies are with me every day. What about you? So, let's abound in his grace, being strong in that grace, and uncompromising. See, it's too many people of us, too many, I should say, it's Christians, born-again believers, we compromise the word of God. Don't. And then there's also uh, a teaching going around, something about grace. I don't know. I'm not even into that. But don't frustrate the grace of God. He is too good. He did something for you and I and for the whole world that no other person could do. So don't frustrate that grace and his mercy. Love him. Stand. And after you've done all the stand, stand there for in his grace, be strong in his grace, okay? And as we hold his amazing grace, remember, remember, by his grace, it's the goodness of God. That grace is the goodness of God. His grace is the righteousness of God. Are you walking in righteousness today? Because if you are, you are demonstrating that grace that God has given you and I. And also, in that grace, he has given us the anointing to do things that we would never be able to do. But it's because of his grace and his mercy that he allows you and I to go forth, to press to the mark of the high calling of God through Christ Jesus. In that grace, remember, he's atoned for everything that we need. Everything that we need. That includes his grace and his mercy. And as Christians, let us exhibit Christ daily to the world and let them know that he, he, Jesus Christ, is the one who has blessed us with his grace, has blessed us with his mercies, has given us his joy, has allowed the fruit of the spirit to be manifested in our lives. That's what I'm talking about, the grace of God that is influenced in my heart and your heart, right? And it reflects his love for you and I. Do you know that God really loves you? He said he will never leave you nor forsake you. And that is his grace. I don't know about you, but I love the Lord today. And I pray that you realize how good he is to you. And those who you love and those who you're praying for. And just always point them to Jesus Point them to the cross of Christ. Point them to the one who paid it all for you and I. Jesus paid it all. All to him we owe. Yes, we do. So remember that abounding grace that's able to do what no other entity could do. That grace and mercy. So I praise God and I thank you today for listening to that short message on grace. There's so much more because I've talked on grace before, but I just want you to remember that God's grace is his goodness toward you and I. It's his righteousness to you and I. It's the anointing <laughs> whew, for you and I and the, his compassion that fails not. This is Pastor Dorothy L. Bell said, be dedicated to God, be directed by God, be delighted in God 
and be diligent for God and let people see that grace, hallelujah, that you are an epistle of Christ, that they can come to know Jesus by what they see in you. And I'm so glad today that God loves me and God loves you. And his grace was shared abroad in our hearts. If you know him, you know that that grace is so good. How can you not love a savior like that? So I pray that you have a wonderful week. Pray that you stay blessed and partner with me through Cash App at do dollar sign one superstar or one woman to woman at gmail.com through PayPal. That is O-N-E, woman, the number two woman at gmail.com. And please don't forget to pray for me and continue to pray for this network. We are increasing heart ministry network. Brenda and Ken Divers, the pastors, the founders, I'm telling you, we are really so blessed to have them to allow us to have this platform to herald the word of the Lord, this truth that will transform your life and anyone who hears it. So remember, have a wonderful, blessed day, a wonderful, blessed week, and we do love you. Thank you.